Hello again, this is uh, my little video on what I learnt about Redis. Redis is a little database or a, you know, the way I view it is really just a, a hash table or a hash or a distributed hash or a list or a set in memory and um, across servers, cluster wide. It's, it's, uh, I, I like it a lot again. I'm really excited about it, and um, you know what? What you really can store in Redis is is um, something like this. You you know, you have uh, really these four things you can store in there: sorted and unsorted sets and lists and comparable or standalone hashes. So it's really just a a list or or a or a hash that you store in memory. So to show you. Um, really, um, you know, you, you, you download Redis um, and then um, you uh, uh, make it. I mean, uh, um, it's, it's, a, it's a C program, so you just run make on it and um, it compiles it. And I, I, I actually copied the stuff into the bin for the, um, to make it, um, put it all together just so I can show. So. Uh, you know, if you if you if you were to um, start Redis, Redis uh, server and um, Redis server will start and it will read from its configuration file, which we'll go into now. And that's it. Redis has started. I'm running a two six one four here, <coughs> and it reads its configuration file and it starts. So there it is. So now I can go to a. Um, and I'm just going to minimize this a little bit here. Yeah. So um, here I'm going to uh, do a few clients. So I have a little client here, which is a uh, Linux um, 6.4. So and it comes with a it compiles a little Redis this client um, file in there. Um, so it's not running on this server, so. Um, and I have to run minus h 192.168.1.118 so now I'm now connecting to that Redis I started on my Mac and um, now I can say something like set with key to hello world so now I'm setting a, a, a key and a value so it's a key value and I'm setting it and it comes back with OK so um, if I were to go into my my Mac now, and let's go there, and I run Redis client over here, and this is on uh, a different machine, my machine. If I were to say get with oops uh, with key, ah, there it is. You know, in the background, I have a uh, l uh, um, a Red Hat um, 5.9 running. Um, and I compiled it on there, so I'm going to do the same thing. Get verb dash key. Uh, oops. Uh, get um, uh, verb key, and it's hello world. So you don't just, but you don't just have to store, you know, values like that in there. You can store lists in there. You can store all sorts of things. Um, but you know, let's take another example, and I'm going to store a, a whole lot of text in there. So. Um, I'm going to do something like, um, let's look at this more, here's a file, release notes, it's just, a, I just copied in uh, uh, Redis as release notes. So then I can run a, a little command like, um, cat the release note into Redis client and set, uh, minus x meaning it will read from a command line and set release notes. Um, set the value of a key rel note. So there it is, it's in there. Now if I go to a, another kind client and I say get rel notes, ah, there it is, there's the whole file in there. So um, here on this client if I were to go in here and say get rel notes, there it is, the whole file was um, consumed and is now in Redis. Now Redis further can do things like um, write its data out to a uh, little database. <coughs> so it's so it's sort of a, a database. But you know, if I, if I were to stop this the server over here, 
um, let's see that um, you know of course it dies and if you know if I try to uh, from a client connect to it now so I get the key it will just fall out and you know um, remember that you know I'm just using a, a compiled little client here you get clients for Java and Node and and anything in, in the world even um, uh, you know, uh, uh, PHP, the whole lot has clients that can actually talk to Redis. But um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm going to just quickly look at this Redis config file. This dot uh, config, and in this file, really, you know, it, there's a hell of a lot of stuff uh, which I'm still learning. But um, you know, apart from where's the PID and the, and the port number and which IP it needs to to bind to, um, there's this thing called snap shutting, and that what that does is after a certain amount, it will write out to a um, a file, and it's this dump file. So um, if I were to go there, we'd see that uh, the settings are if after 900 seconds one key is changed write it to the dump file if after 300 uh, uh, seconds 10 keys have changed write it to the dump file and after 60 seconds you know 10,000 keys changed write it to the dump file I'm gonna change that to hey if one key changes in 10 seconds write it to the dump file and the dump file is um, just for for a test, yeah, of course. And a production, you wouldn't want to write that much. So the dump file um, can be uh, compressed, and you can run a checksum. And you know the dump file's name is dump.rdb. So what it will do now is the 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 issue, as we just saw, I set my key and I set. Uh, um, uh, you know that, that release notes if I were to start the server up right now and I were to try and uh, get a client to connect and then say get verb key and says no because it didn't s uh, you know the, the, the server died before it could persist the data to the disk This time I'm going to start it with um, the the config file that I created. It started again, so I'm going to go into here and I'm going to run my Redis client, and I'm going to say uh, set verb key equals hello, and now we can see that hey, there's been one change in 10 seconds, so I can say verb key underscore one hello and verb key underscore two hello or 23 hello. And now, because these values have changed, and it's persisting this to disk, so if I um, were to go to another client, and I would say, uh, well, what is get verb key? I'll get hello. But unlike uh, we, we, I just showed, um, this time I can kill the server. And of course, if you try and try and get it now, it's the server is no longer there so now I'm going to start the server up again but this time um, and you can see that it took so long to read from a database now if I run it and I run get viv key it's still there because it's now persisted that to the database so it now is a, a, a persisted database that will write data to disk every so 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 often and you specify that and it can survive going down. So again, in, in this case, we can um, write this whole document and we can go read it again. If we wanted to get that now, um, that r release notes, um, we'll see it's null because that was never persisted to disk. I can then, um, of course, go in here and I can um, this time run that same command to uh, persist cat uh, release notes and put it in rel notes but this time you will notice that the server of course is persisting that to disk right and um, so 
if you were to get release notes, there it is. If we were to go back to the server and kill it, um, and you were to want to try and get that, um, of course it will tell you that the server is down. Um, but now the great part is, because it's been persisted, when you start the server up and you try and connect to it again and release notes, it's still there. The, the server hasn't lost it. And VivKey is still there and it's still available. Now there's many other things you can do. You know, hash tables can contain, lists can contain hash tables. This can go really deep and it can contain almost any data um, in there. Um, and um, we'll go into that a little bit further. And then, you know, the next step here is a hash, uh, okay, a, a Redis server can have a slave who can have another slave and they can uh, um, s uh, share the data between each other. So it's highly, um, highly uh, 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 fault tolerant. So you can have a master with slaves, with slaves, with slaves, and you can start building a huge infrastructure all sharing this data and persisting it to disk all over. Um, currently you can have a um, 16 uh, uh, databases um, or 16 different files uh, um, you know is, is what I understand. Um, so um, there's your snapshotting again and we can see that um, there's my value with the 10 and 1 um, and uh, you know here's your replication where you know you're a master of or you're a slave of and um, you can also have authentication in there of course um, it goes you know there's the replication timeouts there's security you can put a username and a password on you can set limits on how many clients there are how much memory it can use um, you know there's really just so much around this but this whole infrastructure I, again I would just compare it to a um, a giant uh, um, hash table or, or list that's stored in the environment that you can get to from anywhere at amazing amounts of speed. It is it is super fast. So um, thank you. That's my little Redis um, discussion.